Use this secret coverage adjustment to mess up your opponent's reads and cause more coverage sacks. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about something I stumbled on uh, in the game when I was labbing defenses. I uh, Late one night, I was actually trying to break down an over-G defense uh, that I was going to be running online. And um, I discovered a coverage adjustment that is not a usual coverage uh, coverage uh, adjustment. It's something a little bit unique, and this is something you might be able to leverage in your gameplay. I haven't really decided on how, where would be the best scenario, but I wanted to get get this to you guys as quickly as possible, just so it gives you a little bit of competitive an edge. And if you could, in your comments, see see how this might benefit you, that'd be great. Let's start sharing it with uh, with uh, our community uh, on my channel. So you can either access this in the dime or the dollar. I'll show you the dollar because it's more of common defense. And um, it basically, it's going to be uh, the zone coverages. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the one of the more popular blitzes, which is going to be the DB Fire 2. And we're going to run this against uh, one of the plays that initially I jumped out at me was Mesh. And let's just go ahead and run this against uh, the... Uh, double cross right here so this is what uh, play we're gonna uh, we'll take a look at the mesh spot so uh, <clears throat> the thing I discovered is that if you base a line and press uh, you have all these different types of uh, coverage options that you can do for some plays so uh, you take a look at this this uh, defensive back if you want to go ahead and uh, change that defensive backs uh, coverage uh, you can actually go ahead and turn them into an outside third uh, a hard flat uh, so you can turn them into cloud flat, a, a soft squat, band coverage, outside quarter, uh, deep half, whatnot. So you can make those adjustments. Now, what you generally, uh, off the defensive line, you have an option to go ahead and do a, buff, a bluff blitz. So let me go ahead and show you how this works with the bluff blitz. Usually it's only defensive linemen that you can actually go ahead and put in a bluff blitz. So bluff blitz will actually put the guy into, he'll come down and then play a three hook, uh, three rec zone. So really there's only a couple different other players that play three rec, zone, uh, uh, rec zones and the, uh, those are going to be uh, either middle linebacker, uh, but you can't, you can't bluff, you can't actually go ahead and just in at this. So in other words, you don't have that option with this or safety will play too but you can see right now deep halves inside thirds he doesn't they don't have these type of coverages so you're probably saying Prometheus get to your point what are you talking about so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this play from the very beginning now if we press these guys down if you take a look at the, the left of string um, defensive back the slot defender look at one of the options that he has he has a bluff blitz so now I have a slot defender, a defensive back, a position that, that no one normally sees. He's actually in a bluff blitz and he's going to go ahead and play a three rec zone right over the middle of the field. Now you'd say, okay, well that's great. I'm glad I can hear about that. But look, he's pulling all the way over the middle of the field. I don't know if that's going to be really that great of a play. Well, the way these, these zones play from the blitzing position, they play a little bit differently. Um, they actually play at the, at the origination of where the snap is at, and then they kind of work their way to the middle of the field. So why this play is important, or why is it important to know this, is that you can actually go ahead and leverage this against anybody that runs a lot of inside crosses, run a lot of mesh plays, runs a lot of uh, basically underneath routes. Uh, the defender is actually going to go ahead and, and slide out. So let's go ahead and show you where I can do, I can bluff blitz the right of screen guy. I can bluff blitz the left of screen slot, and those are the slot positions that we can do. So this is just a, it's just a little bit weird. Most most people are not going to be used to seeing this type of a coverage. So that's what I do like about it, is that it allows you to go ahead and have a lot of a very big inside threat, and these guys will play underneath and underneath the routes. So let's just watch how these guys just uh, are right there to go ahead and defend it. So let me go into instant replay and show you how these guys just, they just kind of jump. <clears throat> In the middle uh, underneath routes and play play routes just a little bit weird that your opponent's not going to uh, not going to be used to it so so watch this guy he actually slides down uh, takes the crossing route he actually he did not he did not come back to this route uh, but these guys are playing bracketed right in the middle 
with the crossing routes and just playing close to the to, to the to, close to the line of scrimmage, which is not something you normally see defensive backs do. So what would be good for for this particular, particular play? So some of those guys popping you underneath. He's doing uh, drag routes underneath. He's doing mesh routes. This is going to be the type of uh, uh, type of coverage is actually going to go and mess your opponent up. So. Uh, if you're going to go ahead and, and use this particular play uh, with maybe a cover six, it would work really well for you. Um, you'd have to manually go ahead and adjust into a cover six adjustment. So let's just go ahead and show you how we could do that. Uh, so, bluff. We're going to go ahead and hard flat him, put him in a deep corner, put him in a quarter right there. And we're going to drop these guys down. Middle third. And we're just going to go ahead and play the middle of the field against these type of a concept. So, <clears throat> got these particular plays. Now you can see how this, this, this actually will go ahead and mess up someone's reads right there. So, let's just go and show you how I, I built a cover six shell with complete, like, coverage underneath. So right here, I've got crossing routes right here. I pass it off to a hard flat. This deep corner was wide open, but if you got a guy that has a tendency to like to go ahead and hit his mesh routes, this is gonna mess up his reads, especially as you can see, these guys carried over to go ahead and bracket one of his reads. I'm gonna go ahead and take that away, and then I'm just gonna go roll back to that side. So guys, go into, <clears throat> go into the game lab this up a little bit see how you can actually use this secret adjustment it might be something that can help your game i don't know i just want to bring it to you because no one's talking about it it might not be the best thing but it might be something that actually can help you get some stops in defense so to my subscribers thank you once again for your support make sure you smash that like button and until next time